Hey everybody, today is March 18th and it's the fourth day of Great Lent. Thanks for joining me as we reflect on our saints and our daily readings today. The first saint that we celebrate is named Saint Cyril, the Patriarch of Jerusalem. He was born in the year 315 and he became the Archbishop of Jerusalem in the year 350. He's important for us as Orthodox Christians because when we look back at the past and we read about the, the writings of different saints, we see that the teachings of the Orthodox Church today are the same as they were then. So his writings talk about the Eucharist, talk about different sacraments, and explain the Christian understanding of those events. And these are the same beliefs that we have today. So it's really wonderful to be able to look back and to read his writings and reflect on what it means for us as Orthodox Christians in the 21st century. Our next saint is from the West, and he was a king from the House of Wessex in England. He was martyred in the year 978. He was the son of the King of England as well, named Edgar. So today we celebrate both an Eastern Saint and a Western Saint as a reminder that our Orthodox Church is for everyone, not just from a particular place. Now let's look at our readings. As we talked about last time, our readings are coming from the Old Testament books of Isaiah, Genesis, and Proverbs. And we can get a little bit from a message from all three of these. From the book of Isaiah, chapter 2, we see what might seem kind of awkward to read about, that there's this terror that's being caused by God. Now, what does that mean? Now, we see that the pride of men are going to be humbled on a particular day. He says that the Lord alone will be exalted in that day, that the Lord of hosts has a day against all that is proud and lofty, that people will flee from the glory of the Lord's majesty when he rises to terrify the earth, it says, and that men will cast forth their idols from before God. What is this talking about? Now, as I mentioned last time, often Isaiah is predicting something of the future or is referencing something that's going to be talked about. Now, when the Lord rose from the dead, it used a particular word in Greek. But then when St. Paul and other New Testament writings are talking about the Lord being risen, it uses another word. And that's the word anesti that we sang when we're singing Christ is risen from the dead. And the, the rising that the Lord does that St. Paul is talking about and that Isaiah is referencing here, this rising to take a stand and judge the earth and to judge the, the demons that are in this, um, kind of in this battle against us that the Lord is saving us from in his resurrection, is this rising. So the Lord is rising in the reading today, and it's a reminder of the, the rising that Jesus is going to do on the third day in his conquering death conquering evil that wages war against us. So it's a really, it's a joyful thing. So we see that there's this judgment, but it's really a judgment not of condemnation, but a judgment that is here to save us from the things that are coming against us. Now we also see uh, the reading from Genesis. This is the story of Eden and of man being given the, the authority to name the animals. And then God tells Adam not to eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And he says that on the day that you eat of that tree, you will surely die. This is a reminder that God is, is giving some boundaries that were good for man, that man wasn't ready for this knowledge. He wasn't ready for this just yet. So God gave him some boundaries. And man, we're going to see later on in future readings, decided to not heed those boundaries and to take what was not theirs. And that's where we get into trouble later on. And then we see also in the book of Proverbs, the reading says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. And then the reading concludes with a reflection on the importance and the beauty of wisdom. So what do we see from today? We see that the Orthodox Church is a church that continues to practice the beliefs of the old, uh, the past, as we see from the 300s with St. Cyril of Jerusalem. We see that the Orthodox Church is for all people from east all the way to west, including the kings of England. 
and we see that the Lord is going to rise and judge the earth like we sing in the morning of Holy Saturday. And that in Genesis, the Lord is setting up boundaries for us and that we need to lean, according to Proverbs, not on our own understanding, but to trust in the Lord in all that we do. May we have this strength and this inspiration coming from our saints in our readings today. May God continue to strengthen you in this first week of Great Lent. Amen.